I'm going to show you how to get started in real estate investing when you don't have a lot of money and you can't obtain bank loans. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I help real estate investors like you, real estate investors like my man Eli from the Cleveland area, get started in real estate, right? You don't have to have a ton of money to get started in the game. I know I didn't have a ton of money when I got started, right? As a matter of fact, before I built up Holton Wise to the mammoth um, company that it is today, 200 plus million in sales, I was actually managing a radio shack, right? Not very extravagant. So Eli, I know your plight, brother. I am here to help you, right? Because we can get you moving on things in the real estate space, right? Your situation is you have a very small amount of money to work with, which is okay, because I'm gonna be going over a $13,000 deal that should be able to put at least five grand of profit in your pocket, right? We're gonna be going over that. And it's gonna be a quick short-term flip because, brother, you can't get buy and hold real estate just yet. Eventually, what you guys probably wanna do is obtain buy and hold real estate, but you can't do that yet, right? Because of two reasons. One, you're limited on your cash. And two, right now, you don't have the credit and income necessary. Eli, that's okay because what I got for you today is a deal we could flip without having to touch the property, do any of the repairs. More details right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just creating a motivated seller's list using the free software trial I got from Holton Wise TV. Oh, my, Steve. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's break down the numbers on the deal, right? How can we take 13 grand, turn it into a $5,000 profit, flip in the house, but not have to do any of the repairs, right? What we're going to do, we're going to wholesale the property, okay? Now, the first thing I want to say when I say wholesale the property, okay? Because we got a big problem in the real estate industry right now in regards to wholesaling, right? If you've ever looked at a lot of the content, right? I know you guys obviously watch me here on Holton Wise TV, but you may have seen me on other sites like Bigger Pockets writing thousands of posts. You may have seen uh, some sentiment from me, which makes you feel like I am anti wholesaling. That is not the case. I love the wholesaling business model buy low sell high that's what it's all about not even just related to real estate i love wholesaling but the problem the problem that i have with the real estate industry right now with gurus right now or i guess forever but whatever my problem with real estate educators out there is what they are training teaching projecting calling wholesaling is not wholesaling it is simply brokering real estate brokering real estate illegally in pretty much all 50 states. I don't like that. More on that, right? I can't just break that all down for you right now, though, because, like, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. More on that if you're interested in, in learning all about the wholesaling industry, how to do it the proper way, uh, how to stay legal in all 50 states, how to make money flipping real estate without doing any of the actual physical fixes, right? Not actually rehabbing it. You could just flip distressed houses to rehabbers. If you guys want to find out how to do all that and stay legal the right way, uh, in the show notes, I got my course. I had to create a course because I was so fucking sick and tired of seeing these guys shooting this shit out of their mouth and it's just teaching y'all how to fucking illegally broker real estate which is going to get you in a lot of trouble number one number two the things they are teaching you even if they weren't illegal they don't even work in the real world right there's a way you can actually do this uh with no fluff right and i do teach that in that course so it's in the link below uh if you guys want to go ahead and order that you could learn but for the purposes of this video let's just focus on the tools I teach you there and actually putting it into practice in real world on this property because that's what 
differentiates what we do at Holton Wise TV, right? What we do at Holton Wise, right? We're going to back it up. We're not just going to teach you something and then be away from you, right? Yeah, you could use the tools I teach you in the course, like, anywhere in any market. But if you do them in the Cleveland market, we're going to back you up and actually be there for you to do part of the deal, right? Because that's the thing. If you want to get going in this, there's a lot of plates up there spinning. you got to be good at a lot of jobs, right? If you want to, like, actually successfully wholesale, you got to be a good marketer. you got to be a good uh, rehab estimator. you got to be a good ARV estimator. you got to be good with your project management. you got to be able to acquire things at a discount, so you got to sell buyers. you got to sell them at a premium. you got to sell sellers, right? you got to do a lot of stuff, okay? And we could take a lot of that legwork. It's more of a team effort with us, right? So with this particular property, all right? 3646 Highland, Cleveland, 44111. Price, 249. Been on the market for four days. Now, this is an attractive, attractive option, okay? But what they got going on here is the sellers, right? They're just throwing it on the MLS. They're not necessarily marketing it uh, to anybody specifically, right? They're just putting it out there. Not putting any type of like ARV on this, nobody to help anybody out with rehab estimates. Like the whole thing is just obviously destroyed, right? You know, the marketing of this particular property is hey, here's a property, it's all screwed up, it's fairly cheap, just submit us your bids, right? They're not they're not like going above and beyond, okay, to actually market this and get it. Uh, sold at a premium price, right? So I don't believe that they're going to get their 24.9. In addition, they're only marketing it locally, whereas I market these things to investors worldwide. So with all that said, I believe we stand a good chance of just plucking this thing right off the MLS, okay? I want you to be able to pick this thing up for 13 grand. That's the offer we're going to put in. But hey, let me give you a little reality check, right? Here's the deal. To do this deal, to make the numbers work, you got to buy it at 13. Right now, the seller wants 25, right? We're not going to be able to sell it for more than 25, so we can't pay 25, obviously. We have to pay 13. Not every single deal you put in an offer is going to get done. You have to understand that, right? That's another thing. When I talk about my wholesaling strategies and actually doing deals with you guys that I like to project here on Holton Wise TV in that wholesaling course, the whole shebang, you have to understand the realities of this, right? All these guru courses, they teach you like these strategies, they make them sound awesome, and then like you go try to do the deal. One seller, no. You go to the next seller, no. You go to the next seller, no. You go to, the, you know what I'm saying? People are just like, no, 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 right? And everybody talks about like hard money lenders, right? Trying to do rehab deals like this with hard money lenders. Folks, if you don't have the cash, you're probably not taking down this deal, right? There's going to be cash investors looking to buy these. I know everybody talks about like, hey, you can flip houses, you can get hard money lenders. Yes, technically you can, but you have to be competitive. And hard money offers are not well received by selling, uh, well, listing agents, rather. Uh, I was going to say selling agents, but technically that refers to the buyer's agent. Listing agent, right? They don't. They don't value a hard money offer all that well, right? In, in distressed situations, people actually want cash, right? And that's another reason why the traditional uh, manner in which people wholesale uh, or are taught wholesaling is a problem because you don't actually close, so you're just trying to broker it. So you put in all these weird contingencies. Bro, when you got a jacked up house like this, it's people coming in, people like me like, yo, cash, boom, no questions asked, right? Those are the offers you're competing with. So that's why like that way of wholesaling doesn't work because your offers ain't getting accepted. And if they are getting accepted, they're not getting accepted at the prices we need them to be, which is what I need it to be to make this deal make money for you. I need it to be 13 grand. Guaranteed to work? No, but that's what we need to do. We need to analyze the properties. We need to analyze a ton of them and just shoot off a bunch of clean, strong offers. And some will stick. Most will not. You make your money off the ones that stick, right? Folks, I market to sellers all day, right? We send out tens of thousands of direct mail pieces every single month here at Holton Wise looking for sellers so we can put together deals that make sense, right? It's the same concept. Again, things I teach in the course, right? So 13 grand is what you need to pick it up at. If they don't do the deal at 13 grand, we got to move on, right? Because if you look at the numbers, we're targeting a $5,000 profit. 13 grand up front, 
Then we put in $1,000 of closing costs. Now, technically, taxes are paid six months in arrears in Ohio. Uh, so you're actually not going to need to bring 14000 to the table. You'd probably only be bringing like thirteen or maybe even like twelve and a half to the table. Uh, but that will be offset later uh, when you sell it anyway because you don't actually have to you're paying the thousand dollars in closing costs, but your taxes have been paid in advance by the seller, so you get a credit. So when you're on the other side of this, it's a double-edged sword, right? It'll make your payoff a little bit smaller, right? I'm assuming it's probably confusing the hell out of everybody, so that's why I just did the charts where it's a thousand on each side, because you are paying a thousand on each side. It's just on the buy side you're benefiting because the seller paid the taxes in advance, but when you eventually will be the seller, you'll have already paid the taxes in advance. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't know what to fucking tell you. That's why I made it simple on the chart, right? So 14 grand is your all in investment. And then I'll be able to resell it for 25. I believe I can get 25 for this easily because how I will do it, right? And here's the thing. If you're going to be a wholesaler, you could try to wholesale this on your own, but I don't think you're going to be able to sell it as high of a price as I can, right? Because I have Holton Wise TV, folks. I'm the number one seller of this stuff in the Cleveland market. I have almost 60,000 people that subscribe to this channel, okay? You can't just come off out of the street, just some random dude like, Duh! What's up? What's up? Real estate now! And get the same type of exposure that I get. Just like I told you, I send out tens of thousands of letters every single month. Well, we also get... I think like 20,000 TV show views every single day, right? So there's a lot of people coming here looking for this stuff, right? So what I'll do is I'll be able to sell this for 25 k on the Investment Properties for Sale show. I'm going to do a full video tour going through the whole house, breaking it down, set this up as a bird deal, do a line item bid type estimate, show people their profit, what they're bringing into it, what their lending situation is going to look like. I'm going to put this thing in a freaking bow for these people, which is why I believe I'll be able to hit the 25K price point, and I don't necessarily believe this particular listing agent will. So with that, I hit the 25K price point for you. You're all in at 14, right? Your closing cost and your purchase price. Then you have closing costs again, and of course you got to pay me five grand to do all that, right? So you sell for twenty-five, and your profit should be about five thousand five dollars. This is the type of stuff we could do. This is wholesaling in the real world. This makes a lot of sense, and it's really good for investors out there who are having trouble getting started doing deals, right? Because here's the thing. You're going to make money on the wholesale. You're trying to target 5K. The person who's going to do either the, the burr or maybe like a flip, they're going to maybe make like 10, 15K of equity. But if you are up front here as the potential wholesaler, you don't have the ability to lock it up and carry it home, get the rehab pushed over the, the finish line because you're going to be required to use like a hard money loan, which is A, going to add to your cost, Cut into your margin. There's just too many other burr type investors out there that have the cash that could do it. Number one. Number two, uh, you may be running into issues, right? Uh, getting your offers accepted up front anyway, right? Because you got to work the whole deal in to make sure your hard money lender is actually going to loan you all this rehab money, right? Because to be all in to do the actual like burr type rehab on this. It's not you just put up 14 grand and that's all you do it after that we cash you out. No, you're going to end up being over $60,000 into this. That's putting way too much onus on a lending source that sellers don't consider to be that strong. So that's why in these types of situations, I think the better business plan even though it's not going to pencil out every single time is wholesaling the property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.